So you start with the home screen, which um, you just have a customised message on. Um, and you've got a few different test series, so you can select between these ones just by clicking here. Um, and it has a standard test series, which you tend to use most of the time. You can modify this thing. So it starts off with a two-dimensional image. And um, when you click that, it switches to a three-dimensional image. So what the patient will see is the mountain sort of go into the background. Um, and you can ask them you know, whether they notice the stereoscopic effect. And if they don't, you immediately get an idea of whether their binocular vision is normal. Um, and then you've got a fairly rough stereoscop stereopsis test. So um, you've got balloons with sort of slightly different disparity between the two. Um, and you can ask the patient which one looks furthest away, whether it feels comfortable to view that as well. Because again, that tends to give you an idea of who's got bino binocular vision problems, often latent binocular vision problems that you might not spot otherwise. Um, the next test is a dominance test. So what you've got there is a balloon and it has superimposed on it a cat and a dog. Um, and depending on which eye is dominant, they'll see one eye or the other, one animal or the other. And you can ask them, you know, which animal do you see? Um, and the first answer is always the one you want to take because if someone's got fairly equal dominance, they'll switch between the two. After that, you go onto the test chart and this chart is designed to do pretty much everything. So the first letter is a low contrast letter so someone can't see the first letter but they can see the rest these are two lines above these um, and if they can't see the low contrast letter you know there's a problem with cataract or um, macular degeneration something like that which is interrupting the contrast you've got standard letters so lines of five um, just like your sort of logmar chart um, and you've got a circle at the side which again two lines above the size of the letters which just means you can do your cross sill. Um, so you can do your sphere and cross sill with that. And you can just switch between the two eyes. You can randomize the letters. Um, and you've got different opt types. So you can go to, if I just make that a bit bigger, um, you can go to K pictures as well. Um, and after you've done that, there's a binocular fine tuning test. Um, which again, you can do the cylinder with the circles and you can make sure that the two eyes are seeing the same. You have quite a lot of binocular vision tests on this, but usually you just use a standard Fourier test, which has a foveal fixation target in the middle. And then there's a stereopsis test, which gives you different levels of stereopsis, um, in this case down to 30 seconds. The last test in the standard series gives you an image which is focused a long way behind the screen and it effectively makes your test room longer so the patient's um, accommodation is relaxed and they're seeing effectively a far distance target which again just allows you to fine tune and make sure you've got as much minus as you can out of them. Um, and after that there's a few fun screens you can give them an image um, and Again, those are in 3D, so if you've refracted them and they're seeing well, they'll get a lovely 3D image. There's 80 tests available, and you can select them easily, so you just press plus, and there's all sorts of different ones. I particularly like there's a series of images which give you a gradually darkening scene, so you can test for night myopia. Um, so as these tests go on, um, there's a whole series of them that you can adjust, but you go sort of darker and darker um, and you can measure the acuity and sort of see whether it changes, whether the prescription changes when people are in um, darkened conditions. It's more involving for the patient to do. You're using targets which are a little bit more real world and the whole test is quite fun to do. So, you know, it gives you a really good um, experience for both the patient and the practitioner.